Okay, everybody, here we go. It is me, Gregory Manorino. Thursday, May 4th, 2023. No secret. No secret at all, people, what's happening here. These uh, so-called issues that were fixed with these regional banks is getting much, much worse. You can't make this up. As I always tell you, it's impossible to take the current environment and come up with anything like it here. We got Fed chair people telling us that everything is fine, the, the brain-dead president of the United States, everything is fine, uh, Wall Street Superbank CEOs, everything is fine here, they, they fix the issues here. Uh, in case you're not paying attention and you don't know what I'm talking about, overnight, regional bank stocks were cratering, and it's going on right now as well. This thing, look, um, this thing is going to get much worse. And as I outlined yesterday, just wait till this hits the large banks. We're going to see some large banks fail, one or two, absolutely. And then, you know, look, this isn't by accident. It's a consolidation of the system here. Um, this is why they, they throw these things at you. It's a deception. It's a grand distraction. Uh, it's what it always is. It's the same story repeatedly over and over and over again. But, but again, when are people going to get fed up with being lied to? Um, I don't think ever. There's no accountability. And that bothers me more than anything, really, honestly. None. Zero. People just take this stuff. They just deal with it. Oh, it's, it's just lies. It's more lies. Oh, it's okay. Just get used to it. Really? Is that what we're supposed to do? <laughs> anyway, I, I, I think unfortunately that people are going to take it. There will not be any kind of a revolt or a revolution. Pe people have been lulled into a sense of, I don't know what, um, it's, um, they've lost the ability at all, at any ability at all to fight back. Um, and they just take what's given to them and soon they will be eating bugs and be happy with that too um so with regard to this banking system people this guy here for years literally has explained to you to get your cash out of these institutions here only keep what you need to in them i'm going to tell you what's going to happen here and you're not going to see it at all on the mainstream media bank runs just like the last time when we when this whole thing started going there were runs on these banks people lines out the doors you didn't see any of it there were no pictures of it on the mainstream media nothing it was all whitewashed right now with what's going on here there's going to be more runs on these banks you're not going to see it it must be whitewashed taken out um again they're working towards a goal you know that this is um, a, 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 an incredible plan here to consolidate the banking system, fewer players, so they can, again, finish their job here, as in the words of our illustrious president, finish the job. You think he chose those words by accident? I don't think so. Finish, you know, they throw these little things out, okay? I understand the president's brain dead and he's just a puppet, but... They allow a little bit of truth to come out periodically here. Like we heard from Fed Pre former Fed President, uh, what the hell was his name, Robert Kaplan yesterday, explaining that this issue with the banks is just getting started. Yeah, um, you and I knew this from day one. And again, they lied, they lied, and they continued to lie. Anyway, on the back of that, people, let's talk. You got stock futures lower this morning, not lower by much, but lower nonetheless. We got the 10 year yield relatively stable. Um, and again, it was so interesting, despite the fact that the Fed raised rates yesterday 25 basis points, just as we expected, <laughs> bond yields dropped. <laughs> How does that work? Oh, yeah, the European Central Bank did the same thing. They raised um, their benchmark uh, 25 basis points as well. But they don't coordinate. No, they, they don't coordinate, of course. The central Bank's doing the same things at the same time. You can't make this stuff up either here. Um, on the back of that, you got relative strength of the dollar higher this morning. Crypto's catching a bid. Gold and silver catching a bid. Crude oil catching a bid. You know, let me just enlighten all of you real quick. So... I wake up, I always kind of skim through my, my emails, and a lot of you here 
are asking me, hey, Greg, is this the bottom for crude? Is this the bottom for crude? What Are you looking to trade this stuff? Um, if you are, then I guess you're, you're, you should be concerned about that. Uh, it doesn't concern me at all, and I'm going to tell you why, because you understand. I'm, I play both the short game and the long game. With regard to commodities, crude oil being a commodity, here's my take on it for those of you that did write to me, and I'm going to answer your question here. Okay, um, I'm not sure we bottomed out with regard to crude oil, but I would look at, at this as an opportunity here because we, you and I, are holding commodities because we understand this whole thing is going to change um, and it's going to get very real. It, at one point, a bursting of the debt bubble is going to occur. Rates are going to spike in an uncontrolled fashion. That's going to put pressure on the stock markets like you can't possibly believe. And cash is just going to move into commodities and also, I believe, cryptocurrencies. This is, I'll, I will never waver from that. This is how I feel it's going to play out. So if you are an investor, an investor, not someone that's trading commodities and or crude, you should be looking to add to positions on any dip that comes around, okay? This is my opinion. I want you to do your own research on this. Think about how this is, where this is going, the pieces that are being put into play here. You understand? I don't think it's hard to understand where this is going. Um, the pressure on the middle class around the world is not going to stop. Um, with regard to rate hikes, the Federal Reserve, the European Central Bank, if you recall, at the end of last year, I believed, I said that there would be a pause early in the year. The Fed would raise rates and there's going to be a pause. I believe now is that time, okay? Um, we just got this 25 basis point hike out of the Fed and the European Central Bank. The Fed is going to pause. There's going to be a pause here, Okay. Is that going to stop inflation from rising? No. Inflation is going to continue to rise. As a matter of fact, we got some economic news I'd like to cover with you real quick before we end this video. But I want you to understand the macro picture, what is going on, because the macro picture is where it's at. You understand? And I'm a macro guy. You all know that. So with regard to economic news, so U.S. productivity drops much more than expected. Meanwhile, labor costs have gone up and continue to rise much more than expected. Initial jobless claims 247,000 and more corporate layoffs are being announced. Again, let's put this together real quick. Why is it? Why do you think, let's just put our thinking caps on for a moment, that we're seeing corporate layoffs like they're just they're not stopping? And more and more of these mega corporations are announcing layoffs, layoffs, less. Why do you think this is happening? What do they know that, that you don't know? Okay. Um, you already know this if you follow this blog. We are moving into the greatest depression of all time. Okay. Forget about the Great Depression. Moving into the greatest depression here. These corporations are getting themselves in the right spots here. Small businesses are going to be gone. They're going to be eliminated, all of them, okay? And I mean all of them as we move forward, as the corporate agenda is fulfilled here. So if you are a small business owner, you got to have a backup plan here. Credit to you is being cut off. Um, and this is the main reason and the goal of central banks. Why they are raising rates has nothing to do, and you know this already, if you're new here, pay attention, Raising rates, raising rates, raising rates has nothing to do with stopping inflation, okay? Zero. It's about limiting the availability of credit, especially to small businesses who they want erased. They want to fulfill the corporate agenda, period. This is the a world run by corporations now, run by central banks. Um, you have no representation. You have no voice. Nobody's going to fix this for you. I don't care who they put. And they've already chosen the new president, just so you know, to put behind the resolute desk. And um, anyway, that's that's kind of where we stand with this whole thing. So just let's just summarize real quick. The issues with, issues with these regional banks that you and I knew from the word go, okay, 
They're not, they have not gone away. They're going to get worse here. We're going to see more failures, more consolidation, and just wait. Just wait. One or two major banks are going to fail too. And that's also going to be put into the collective, okay? The, the control force. This is all about control. You know that. This is why, again, we're going to this new monetary system. But they got to bring this one down first. And they're doing it now. They're dismantling it piece by piece so they can set up what's coming. So just be ready for it, people. Always have the high grounds. I'm looking at regional banks right now. They're getting, they're getting decimated, decimated this morning. Incredible, incredible. But again, no surprise to you or me. Um, where's the outcry? Where's the accountability? Nowhere, people. Watch. Zero. And do you think our representatives are going to go yelling and screaming from rooftops? Because they really represent you. They want to know why you're being lied to. They're all part of the same equation. You do realize that, right? You have no representation. Get used to it. Get used to this stuff. This is a fact. It's literally, it's you and I for, for each other. You know, what do they say? Every man and woman for themselves. It's us. That's all we got. You understand? All right, people, I covered a lot of stuff here. Please, if you thought this video was important, that thumbs up is valuable. It gets it out there. People see it. So it takes you a nanosecond. Click the thumbs up, okay? Share the video. Please comment about what I've spoken about here. All right? Uh, with that said, people, I'm going to let you go. I will see all of you 105 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for my live stream. Please have some questions ready for me so we can go over that. It's what it's all about, all right? See you later.